Hello, I am Ineas from ToyRatedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create a nice light box in Cinema 4D. So first of all we want to create a nice cube and that cube you want to scale it up until you have the scale of your light box that you want it to be. So now position it above your floor, click on the cube and check the fillet option. I like the 150 radius but it's all up to you so if you want a different uh, setting for your fillet just change it. Then I like to add some subdivisions so we have a little bit better quality and you don't see the corners over here. So now once you've done that click on the cube and press C on the keyboard or press this icon over here. Once you've done that it's an editable layer. So now we're going to select the live selection tool, go over here, click on that and then just select all the um, polygons right over here. Just follow my lead. Once you've made some mistakes hold control to deselect them and if you don't know it already hold shift to select more at once um, once you start doing it um, so once you've done all, uh, everything like this and as you can see I'm making a lot of mistakes but it doesn't matter just hold control and drag over them hold shift to select more and make sure you don't forget shift else you'll have to start over okay there we go nice and easy Okay, and I'll hold control to deselect all these. And once you see that everything is done, just press delete key on the keyboard. And now we already have a box. Now, if you want to have some different settings, you could, uh, could have done that in the beginning. But once you've done everything like you want it to be, then just hold control, press A on the keyboard, and that will select all the polygons. Now, right click on the cube and press extrude. And what that'll do is it will extrude and it will actually create some 3D room in there so it's a little bit better so once you've done that and you have your complete box ready it's ready for the lighting and as you can see over here we have some uh, made some mistakes so I will have to clear that up and just by just selecting these over here there we go I'm going to get a few step backs by undoing these things because once it's extruded and you've made some mistakes it's a little bit difficult to undo all these things so just zoom in if you're not sure if everything is working out and then press delete okay once you're completely sure that everything is working fine you can just extrude it again my mistake okay so just hold control press a on the keyboard and extrude it and there we go not too much and there we go okay so now what you want to do is create the lighting for a light box and we are going to do that by using some luminance. Create a new cube and then go right over here on this option again and we're going to scale it now. So press this light selection tool again and now you can just scale it up and scale it down. So make it really really thin like a real light and make it large on this side and a little bit smaller over here. Now once you have your light like you want it to be, go to MoGraph, Cloner and then just drag this cube into the cloner. Click on the cloner again and go to Mode, Grid, Array and what that'll do is just clone everything just like over here. We're gonna change the count to zero over here and over here we are going to um, do the same thing, maybe two. That will be enough, something like this and then just change the uh, settings over here until you have something that you want. Okay, something like this should do really fine. And there we go, we're gonna position this on top of our light box. As you can see it's a little bit too big over here, so one will be fine. And drag it over here. And there we go, our lighting is set and done. Now it's time to create our luminance. Double click over here, double click on the material and then just deselect all these and just uh, check the luminance. Go to gradient at the texture over here, click on gradient, go to type and then we're going to choose 2D circular and then double click on the black, change it to white, double click on the white and change it to a light gray, something like this should do fine. Okay, so once you've done that, 
just close it and then just drag it onto your cloner. So now we can just um, add a new material to our light box. So just a simple light gray color will do just fine. Drag and drop it over here. And then just create a new sphere to see whatever, how it's working. Scale it up a little bit, create a nice and very easy uh, material for your mater uh, for your sphere. Okay, there we go, something like this. Um, okay, add a reflection, a Fresnel. Lower the reflection a little bit over here, and Speckler, I'm gonna bump this up and thin this out. Okay, so now we're gonna close this, drop this onto this uh, on the sphere, and now what you want to do to make the light box effective, go to the render settings. Change your output settings to whatever you want and go to anti-aliasing, best and then we're gonna add an effect called global illumination. So once you're st still editing just change these settings to low because you don't really see that much of a difference so it doesn't really matter. I wanna bump these segments up over here so we have a nice quality sphere and there we go if you make a pre-render of this this is what we have, a nice looking light box and it's really effective. As you can see, the spheres are looking really, really nice. Uh, if you don't want the light box to be seen and you don't just want to use your reflections, just right click over here, um, just group your light box by holding Alt G, right click, Cinema 4D Tags, Composing, and then just Scene by Camera, check this off. And now if you render it again, only your sphere will be rendered. So it's a nice uh, little technique to get some nice lighting going on. Um, so something else you can do is go to Window Content Browser and then just drop this light box, if you call it light box, and just drop it over here. So then everything, you just create a new folder for yourself. And so everything you've made, you don't have to make it again every time. So uh, if you want to use it in a different project, for example, I'm going to create a new project, go to Content Browser, don't want to create my light box again. I'm just going to double click on my light box and there we go. We have our light box set and ready for use. So it's pretty cool, a nice technique. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, something else you can do over here is add some more lights in the front. Maybe you want to create a new cube over here just for the bottom of it and then just position it over here and rotate it towards the sphere just a little bit and then just drop this luminance onto the uh, onto the cube so now if we render this we will have a light on the bottom as well and there we go this is my tutorial on how to create a light box i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, click the subscribe button to see more of my videos i make a lot of other tutorials for different softwares also check out my website at tolerated cinematics.com and yeah thanks for watching goodbye